Okay, uh, I'm going to call the um, September 26, 2018 meeting of the Lakewood Sigmund Commission to order. Thank you all for coming. Um, first order of business is um, to, to uh, uh, approve the uh, meeting minutes. Then we get a chance to read the minutes from us. Make a motion, Mr. Chair, that we approve the minutes as written. For a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Staying okay. Um, moving on, then uh, review and approval of bills and expenses. Uh, no income for the month of September. Expenses, solitude, lake management, the amount of 30387 and 30 cents. 25000 paid from state grant account. That account balance is now zero. And $5,387.30 paid from the town of Shrewsbury Town Marketing Appropriation. The marketing management. Management. Warren that's it, article. That's it. From a Warren article. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> All right. Motion to accept. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? So voted. Okay, on to uh, commissioner's reports. I'll start it off. Um, it's, uh, you know, we had, a, we had a couple of great events in, in, uh, this year, or this year, this month, the uh, boat parade. And uh, it's like the Sigma Day was, uh, I thought was a good success. Um, the parade was awesome. The, uh, the antique boats were always a lot of fun. I think my, I was actually, uh, taught myself, I was, my boat actually turned 25 this year, so I got to actually be a person in the boat for it. It looked kind of funky. I was the only, uh, well, I wasn't the only fiberglass boat. <clears throat> there was two of us, and I lost to the other guy for the award. How was that? But, uh, I, well, you know what? I, I, I voted for the other guy, too, because it was a cooler boat than mine. Oh, I thought you meant it was actually younger than your boat. No, it wasn't younger than my boat, no. Um, uh, but it was it was just a, it was just a great show that the uh, this year also we had a lot of activities there and they, they, uh, they we had a, a great pizza truck we were talking before the meeting that the uh, the pizza was awesome on the thing but um, you know the band was really good everyone just kind of chilled out and it was it was really a, really a nice event the judges Angela was there um, it was kind of our unofficial Tough competition this year <laughs> our, our unofficial uh, late grand marshal um, was. Uh, was there, but it was it was uh, that's always a, that's always a fun part of it. Uh, and what, the other thing I liked that, that they, we changed this year is is that the uh, the Woody guys or the antique boat guys because they're not all Woody's anymore. I had to change their name um, to Classic Boat Club. Uh, but they they went around and and asked people if they wanted to go for rides in the boat. So all day long they would they were taking people out, um, you know, just randomly asking, you know, hey, did you get did you get a ride in one of the boats? You want to go out for a ride? And that was I thought that was really really a nice thing for them to do. Um, you know, and they, they love showing off their, their stuff anyway, but, you know, taking someone out in the boat and going through all that rigmarole is uh, kind of above and beyond the call of duty. So <clears throat> I really appreciate all the, all the effort that those guys put in there because it really made a big, a big difference, I thought, in the day. And the people, everyone I talked to was really thrilled that they got to ride in, you know, in some of those boats. So um, that was all great. And, um, you know, went off pretty much without a hitch. That was all, that was all nice. And then uh, we had the dragon boat races uh, on Saturday, right? Did, did you guys? I was in Seattle. You're in Seattle. I, I want. I wanted to participate. Oh, the other. The other. I, cool. I think we soundly defeated the Worcester Fire Department. Is that right? Them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Came in first place. You won't well, say that. No, they came in first place. You don't want to brag. Did they? Well, because I noticed Gary didn't show up tonight, so that's probably yeah. why. He's probably embarrassed. <laughs> so. Uh, all right, that, that's, a, that's a good thing. Um, I totally blew off. I forgot all about the stupid thing. And I heard, I was sitting in the parking lot at White City, and I heard a bunch of cheering. And I'm going, what's that, a crew race? And he says, no, it's a dragon boat. So I was uh, disappointed I didn't, I didn't get to go. Um, but it was a great thing. The other thing I want to mention about Lake Sigamon Day is we got, a, we got a special visit from the uh, Worcester Mountain Police. They were down there. Um, so I really appreciate that. That was, that was fun. They didn't offer any rides up. They're still a little skittish around uh, dragons, so they didn't go to the dragon races. They didn't, they, they're afraid of those guys? No, there's, a there's a history there. Um, 
but it was it was awesome. So the the, the whole day was worked out really well. They had a yoga thing um, going on at the late day, so um, I think each year they're going to try to add events on and get more vendors and and food uh, vendors there and things. So it, it, it should be fun. And uh, I think for me, that's about it. Mr. Pica. Uh, Mr. Chair, would just reiterate that what you said. And just let me uh, remind people that it was free. Um, and um, it's a pretty good day, short of buying your own food and beverages, to, to uh, take that all in for, uh, for basically next to nothing. Um, don't have a lot much more to say, Mr. Chair, than a couple weeks ago I did see some of the young eaglets still flying around. That was as of two weeks ago. Personally saw them. Um, I mentioned it last <coughs> month, but they're still there. The grasses seem to abound. And that is, these are mature type weeds that I call them grasses that float to the surface and f float towards the shore of, of the uh, windward shores. So that's something to deal with. Um, I see uh, crewing out there <laughs> in the morning, the 6, 6.15 in the morning, uh, they're out there rowing. Yes, even when it's dark, but they do have lights. So that much I saw. And that's pretty much it at the moment, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, one thing I, wa I want to go back to real quick um, that I meant to say was that I also met with the, uh, the crew and the rowing coaches um, for a meeting that uh, you know, the Patrick had, and or Angela and I actually were there. And uh, so we you know, kind of went over the rules, and my talking about the lights brought that up to me, uh, brought that back to mind. But, you know, we had a discussion about kind of the rules of the road out there and, and that, um, you know, it's important uh, that, you know, they try to be, uh, you know, good community uh, players on, on the lake and, and, you know, not to, you know, take up the whole lake. This, this time of year, this particular season, the crew is a difficult one because the, the races go the other way. So, um, you know, there's a lot of activity where there normally isn't a lot of activity with crew boats on the, on the southern side of the uh, bridge. So uh, we talked about that. We talked about the safety. We talked about how they should respond if something does go wrong, if someone swamps them or gets too close or whatever it is, if they have a complaint, not to, you know, confront the uh, operators and, and, and whatnot. I'm going to also say that out to the public <coughs> and on the other side of things, if you're in a motorboat, Again, I'm going to reiterate this because we did have an event that um, a boat got swamped, and um, you know it was, it was a dangerous it was a dangerous situation. So um, neither party kind of went after the other party. So that was that was good. That's what I'm going to ask everyone to, to be respectful of that. Uh, this is a law enforcement issue. If someone should, uh, you know, violate the rules or, or um, Put, put you in danger, please contact um, the police department and have them, and have them uh, deal with it. You know, video and, uh, and, and pictures are good, so that would be nice so we can, we can deal with it. And that's what happened with this event. It was, it was dealt with pretty quickly, and uh, the parties were talked to. So it, it, it worked out in the end, but um, you know, it worked out because everyone had the information and no one got into it at the scene. So that was... That was uh, that was good, so I'm going to move on. You're, you're done, right? So, um, Officer Valeri. I have a couple of things. Um, I know there's still rowing going on out there. Um, the boating season has kind of calmed down for the year, so this the end of this week I'm going to take the safety buoys out of the water. Uh, with the water level, um, I had an issue today where I had to take one out. Things are starting to float, float away. So I'm going to take those out, secure those for the season. And the boat will stay in until the end of, uh, end of October, maybe the first week of November. Depending on the weather, how, how cold it starts to get, <coughs> I'll take that out. Now, the environmental boat is still there. Um, they, I have not seen the environmental around, but their boat is there as well if uh, there's any issues and we need a boat. Um, no reported, I know before um, one of the women here from the watershed had spoken about incidents. We haven't patrolled, so really haven't had any incidents. If there were any, uh, we dealt with it like this past week. 
Um, other than that, there's been really nothing. I have not heard back from MassDOT regarding the signs. I would imagine we'll just keep waiting. Uh, they were going to run it by their supervisors as far as, far as the, the color goes, amber color. So I still have not heard back from Adam regarding that. Um, and that's all That's all I have on the report. Okay. Just if I can just add to that. I'll probably be taking the marker in front of the Half Moon Cove out this weekend as well and storing it on the shoreline on my property. Because, in fact, traffic is markedly less at this point in time. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the lake is very high, very, very high. I would uh, ask everyone for the next uh, few days, you know, because I, I anticipate it'll probably go down. I know that the dam is running very lively uh, right now, but they, uh, <clears throat> to, to mind, uh, or to keep in mind that there's walls and shorts and, <clears throat> and things like that. So if you're making a wake uh, right now, a normal wake, it's going to go over some people's walls and, and uh, up onto their property. So please, uh, I don't want to, you know, have to declare like a no wake zone on the entire lake, but that's um, um, that's an option if, if we start to see damage and, and uh, uh, significant erosion. So and that's exactly what happens in, in those kind of things if you if uh, you're not careful. So. Please be mindful of other people out there for that. And um, uh, do you need any assistance taking out the buoys? Or? No, it should be fine. I'll, I'll let you so. know if I do. All right. Thank you. So, all right. Um, that's it? That's all I have. Captain Steele. In the interest of brevity and uh, lack of information, I have no report other than to say that we um, were, were uh, happy to participate that they had this September, uh, and uh, I, I'd like to see this kind of thing go on in the lake. So it's a great event, um, and uh, I hope to uh, see it again next year. All right. Thank you. Toledo. No report. Conway. Um, just had a good time at the, the lake day. So <laughs> yes. Nothing else to report. All right. Sam Marie. Keeping in the same vein. Okay. Moving right along, Mr. Nelson. I guess I'll change the direction. Of two things I'll mention. Oh, uh, I attended the uh, safety committee meeting on September 5th for, for the fall for all oh, of the crew. Oh, sorry. That's right. Went Bill's along on with Peter. And uh, the uh, all of the coaches, particularly the young ones, seemed very receptive. And uh, uh, as Peter said, they're, they're no, no problems. Everyone seemed to agree that what we were suggesting and what they were suggesting was consistent with Robert. Also, sculling out there in the morning uh, with lights on, I have seen them very well behaved. They do stops, particularly for some individual scholars going by like me, and uh, don't continue racing down the lake. So everything I've seen seems to work well. Also, uh, I spent the day at the uh, second point, the Dragon Boat Festival. It was over twice the size of last year, I think something close to 80 participants. There were more than double the food trucks. The parking lot was full from early in the morning. Lots of people there enjoying it. Didn't see any problems. Uh, I even participated in one of the boats. We did do, didn't do anywhere near as good as the Worcester Police Department, but it seemed to be a, a great event, and I know our club is gonna continue next year, just like I assume you are, and they hope to double it again next year. Oh, that'd be awesome. Did Worcester have the same amount of sandbags in their boat as, as you guys? Or? <laughs> I don't know what they did, except I think they, they attended the beer tent more than we did. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I was going to ask, Mr. Chairman, um, since we are on the Lake Commission and, and kind of somewhat like celebrities at these things, <laughs> we should have shirts that say Lake Quinsigamy Commission right on so people can you know come up and get our autographs, things like that. <laughs> I, I think that's... Uh, that's a wonderful idea. Maybe free beer at the beer tent? I don't, know. I don't think you need sure a head start. They'll yeah. give you a head start for that. I don't think you need it. I, I think that that would be a good thing. I, I, I brought that that same thing up to uh, to one of the commission members at one point, and he also suggested we put a target on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, that would be, be pretty funny, actually. So, um, <coughs> all right. Update on uh, on the lake monitoring report from uh, from ESS. We we did the uh, weed treatment um, as we.
talked about and uh, we paid for it. And um, we have yet to get the report back. We, the report's due um, in towards the end of October, so we've got to get that down. It's already been commissioned and we've approved it and they're working on it now. I believe, actually, they were in the water um, uh, Monday and they kind of had to not go in the water yesterday because of the uh, weather and that they're going back in the water, I think, either today or tomorrow. Also, um, they will be going to, uh, to, to, to uh, map Hovey Pond for weeds, the Quinsigman River and Hovey Pond, um, because it is part of our purview and we've got to get, uh, you know, we've got to get that uh, straightened out. I suspect there's probably going to be some type of invasive in there. The river, so I'm. I think that's going to be a great uh, tool for us and for this and for the town of Grafton to, to monitor where where things are coming, you know, and then where they're going to go. To because the next stop for these guys would be Lake Ripple after after Harvey. So Which is in pretty bad shape. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's you go down downstream from there. There's actually a uh, little fishing spot and boat where yep. you can walk across the weeds. Yeah. You can't see the water. So yeah. It's, it's yeah. really bad. Yeah, and, and you know we we had discussions at at, um, at both the conservation commission and, and the selectmen, and it was a little bit of a discussion at the finance committee at, at Grafton too, uh, regarding that. Is, is that you know my professional opinion, my volunteer professional opinion, uh, is that <coughs> without uh, nipping the source in the bud, which is what we're focusing on here, is that you know we're, we're you know we're just going to be chasing it all the time. And, and I know that Grafton is. The, the, Town spent a lot of money uh, cleaning out Rip Lake Ripple, so uh, it's just going to keep happening until we get until we get that uh, that down. A comment on that: not only in Fishville Pond, which Scott mentioned, is, yep. is totally covered, but uh, Grafton put in a little park right at where the Quinsigman River flows into Lake Ripple on the upstream side. Yes, yep. and that little con for canoe and kayak access. That part is now getting so overgrown that it almost stops people from wanting to put their kayaks and canoes in there right. as well. And they may have had the same issues that we had. Excuse me, I, I, I would venture to get the guess that there may be some th things coming from, from Quinn Sigerman uh, and Hubby. But also, you know, they may have people going in there with stuff on their paddle, stuff in the bottom of their canoe, or, you know, they may be... That's just how... Yeah. You know, that's how it happened to right. us. That's right. how it's going to happen Everywhere. to those guys. So that's ducks flying waterfowl from yep. one place to another also carry yep. mostly weed the eggs ducks. with them. What's that? Mostly the ducks. Mostly the ducks. <laughs> that's right. And um, and you know now we got dragons, so uh, we have to watch out for those guys. The the fowl uh, usually when they spread, it's usually in one of the seed based plants because that's it, it ends up uh, you know in their feces. So that that's uh, that's one. This one area, you have to, and there's no, there's no controlling that, but, um, so, but that's just to, to let you guys know that that's, that's going on. When this report comes on, I, I'm going to each of the three communities, um, and I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping to get, uh, it seems every time I go to Grafton, I see Mike Moore, so I'm hoping to, to uh, kill two birds with one stone there, but, um, uh, you know, I, I will go back and, and I will present the report <coughs> that we got. To, to update the, the, the Board of Selectmen and, uh, and, and Grafton and Shrewsbury and, and the City Council in, in Worcester. So we'll, we'll get that done. Um, as soon as I can. I, I was hoping to have that report by, by tonight, but it, it didn't happen. All right. Um, move, does anyone have any discussion or any comments on that? Questions? Just um, with the report, is that a requirement to um, forward that to the Conservation Commissions? Yes. So yeah, you it's, it's part of the, I'm sorry, yeah, it's that's right, we have to forward that to the, to the Conservation Commission, it's part of the uh, uh, OOC, the Order of Conditions. Mm -hmm. Conditions. Yeah, so, um, uh, continued discussion of safety concerns on the lake and, <coughs> you know, we can go back and forth. I think the first thing we, we, we need to work on maybe over the off season with this, from in, in my mind, is to um, see how we can get more participation on, on uh, you know, th with law enforcement on the lake, and that, that includes maybe some, up, maybe some, uh, you know, more details from Shrewsbury, 
some details from Worcester, uh, some details from uh, environmental police, and just kind of, uh, I guess, get, get, get more of a coverage out there. Because the, again, and I, I sound like a broken record, and I apologize for that, but you know, that's why the commission was formed originally, was because of the safety concerns. And, and it really hasn't gotten any less, uh, less rowdy out there over the years. It hasn't like we, we, you know, we fixed the problem, we can move on now to just to deal with the invasive weeds. Um, because it seems to be getting crazy. And I, I went out there, uh, it was one Sunday a couple weeks ago, and literally there was a jet ski show in front of Lake Park. And the, they, they, were, they were doing the, the wheelie uh, equivalent of popping wheelies uh, going on the, on the inside of the buoy on Lake, Lake Park. There are three of them. I'm sure you can't have seen the show a, a <coughs> few times. There's people on the shore cheering them on. And, um, you know, and, and they were, they actually, at one point, they were circling around the, you know, the, the buoy. So uh, that tells me a couple of things that, one, we definitely have some, some, uh, some issues with, with safety on the lake, but the, secondly, that I, I got to believe that these guys just don't know any better than to do that, because I can't believe anyone would just blatantly, you know, do uh, something I'm like gonna that. I'm going to guess that's earlier in the day. No, I was out there at, this was okay. like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Well, that, because well, I, one of the things that we're going to look at next year, Shrewsbury generally goes in, in the water about 3, 3.30. Mm -hmm. right. And in, in the past, when Worcester patrolled the lake, we did the daytime patrol, mm -hmm. and then Shrewsbury did the um, afternoon and <coughs> early evening patrol. And what's happened is, it, unless there's a special event, there's no police on the lake in mm -hmm. the daytime. And some of the... Believe it or not, these people know when the police are going to be around or when they're likely to be around. Of course, yep. So I, I think we're hoping next year to be looking at, at a little bit of expanded coverage that way. Hopefully, we'll see, we'll see how, uh, how it works, works for us, but that's certainly what we're looking at, um, especially now working with the fire department. We'll have, have a boat. We don't want to be taking Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury's boat out because when the Shrewsbury police damaged their boat, they say the Worcester police did it when they had it in the daytime. Hmm. So, um, I don't think that's really going to happen. But anyways, um, that's just something we'll look at. It, it's a real problem, and um, we, we plan to look at that a little bit next year, hopefully, in the, um, when, we, when the season starts again. I appreciate that. I mean, you know, I, I'm, in an effort to do that, you, you, I, I really do want to reach out to the uh, – in the Worcester side, and I, I know my way around Shrewsbury and Grafton from, from that end of it, of who to talk to, but in Worcester, who's the, the, the... I don't think the Chief's probably not the appropriate guy, right? He's no, I'm, I'm the commander of special operations. The guys do all come under me. Yeah. Um, the, the if there was a boat, has, if there was a boat been, patrol, they would be under... Yeah, under the your, problem yeah. has been uh, manpower. Uh, understood. And um, we, we hope to put a class on, hopefully, January. That'll put them um, graduating around May or June. And then uh, there's six to 12 weeks of training, puts them at the end of the summer when they, they come on board. So, um, like I said, we're hoping there'll be some changes towards the end of the summer All next right. year. So, I guess I'm hoping you'll give some of them a swim test. We'll see what happens. Good. Um, and, you know, we just try, and this isn't, I don't want to, I, I just, you know, want to, we go, we have to go with a hat in our hand and say, look, this is a, this is a problem. I can't think of any place in Shrewsbury that's more dangerous and active on a Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, than Lakeland Signal. So I know that there's, there's patrols all over town, but, and, and, you know, and there's no way, I also understand this, is there's no way that you can say, okay, we're out there on Saturdays and Sundays, it's like, it's like the stock market, you know, we're out there on Saturdays and Sundays, so that's, that's going to cover everything, and nothing's ever going to happen, you know, on a Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning. You, you don't know. You don't know when things are going to happen. So, I mean, there's going to be times when things happen, and there's just no coverage there, and that's what it is. I mean, these things happen on the road, and there's no police there. And, you know, there's, there's not a lot you can do. You can't be everywhere. So, and I, and I think that the police do a good job when they're out there. It's just... We'll look at the chronic times, <coughs> chronic places, right. and the days. And like you said, sometimes it's, you, don't, you don't know when you're going to have a, an emergency, but for the most part, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do next year to make things a little better. Perfect. All right. Any other uh, comments, questions? So I can do another talk. You guys just want to... Move on. <coughs> Dinner's waiting. All right, so, um, wow, what time is it? I think 
update from the Lakeland Sigmund Water Sales Service. Wow. Uh, we Barbara Kinkum, Lakeland Sigmund Watershed uh, Association. You probably already talked about Lake Day. I was a little bit late. Um, a little bit, but not as, as well as you could talk about it. <laughs> um, we made about $750 or so. Um, on the raffles, mm -hmm. a little bit less. We didn't strong arm people, I think, for, for raffle tickets enough. Um, the weather was a little not quite as nice. Um, last year we made about a thousand. Um, we break even on the bar tab and um, uh, the band, paying for the band. Usually, um, I haven't got the numbers back yet from Casey Duva, but that's usually what happens. We usually, hopefully, hopefully we did this year because it, again, it wasn't quite as many people, but. We had, um, we had the mounted police, they were awesome, kids loved that. Um, there in the morning there weren't quite as many people there, but that's when the kids were there, so it was, it was nice. And um, we had the Shrewsbury Fire Department with the boat, and that was awesome. And we had more boats than last year, participate in the parade. And um, we, um, you know, I think, I think it went, went pretty smoothly. We were adding events, you know, we had a bunch of things. The yoga, um, I think people were a little shy about doing yoga on the beach. So nobody really, you know, it's kind of a little too open, I think. <clears throat> open. But we're, we're going to try it again next year, I think. We'll try something different. Maybe we'll do it inside. I don't know. But nobody wanted to participate. We thought, and everybody sounded really excited about that. Um, and uh, I think, I don't really, you know, they had uh, about, I think they had a few less antique votes. But there was one new one this year that got a few votes. That's right. <laughs> new antique. New um, antique. But uh, that's about it. So it's it a beautiful, beautiful boat. It is, yeah. That's uh, the chairman's um, yellow ski boat entered this year. <laughs> First time. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Barbara, okay. when's the next Lake Quinsigma Watershed Association meeting? Oh, yeah, sorry. And where, would that, <coughs> where would that be? Um, it's tomorrow night at uh, the Marine Corps League. What time? Uh, 7 o'clock, Marine Corps League, um, at 181 Lake Ave, Worcester. I think that's the address. So... Uh, we Do you have an agenda tomorrow night in terms of anything that you're going to talk about? We are talking about what we're going to do with our money. So we've got a bunch of, um, uh, we've been collecting money over the years, and we need to think about how we're going to spend it, spend a little bit of it anyways. So we have, um, we've got some ideas. We're going to approach um, Worcester and Shrewsbury DPWs and see if they, you know, maybe we can install a tree box or something that says, you know, Lake Quinsigaman, donated by Lake Quinsigaman, something oh, um, for stormwater retention, but something like a, you know, we did a rain garden in, in Gauch Park. Um, uh, we didn't, you know, we didn't end up actually funding any of it. They got independent funding. Um, so, you know, that was one way we're going to spend money. So we have some other ideas. And um, there's also a cleanup. Works for Worcester, I think it's called. <coughs> Are you familiar with that? Um, and they, um, we can sponsor them. That's one of our ideas too. But that's that's what we're going to talk about is what kind of um, outreach things that will get notification about us. You know, let people know about what we're doing and um, get people to start thinking about you know the environment. So. All right, that's great. Thank you. All right, all you folks at home, if anyone's uh, interested in telling someone how to spend their money. Please come to the Marine Corps Club tomorrow at 7. That's, that's always a fun meeting. Um, Barbara, is that always the day after our meeting? Well, we started that. We started um, saying that it was going to be the day after your meeting, but th because um, Angela, Pete, I, and some other people could have to do both, we're probably going to switch it again. We have to discuss. It was an easy time to remember, but it's kind of a little bit too much in a row. Too, too late nights in a row. I can testify to that. That's a sad state of affairs when it becomes late at 7 30 and 8 o'clock. Exactly. It's actually not the meeting that, that, that turns it into a late night. It's the, it's the post meeting. It's the post meeting meeting. All right. Um, set a date. Uh, what's, the, what's the date for our next meeting? Well, the last Wednesday of the month, Mr. Chair, is Halloween, the 31st. Okay, so everyone's going to wear a costume for the, for the next meeting. 24th, is it? 24th, Could otherwise. Could you do the 24th instead of the 31st? All right. That's okay. So I so won't be available the 31st. I know it'll be sad. Well, we always like to have you here. Um, yeah, you can do the 24th, though, right? 24th is probably okay. Okay. Um, 
That's okay with everybody else who's doing it? 24? I won't be able to make it. I'll be away for two weeks. Okay. Oh. Lake, lake, I'll have my lake uh, training. liaison, Officer Amato, come right. in my place. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. 24. Okay, 24. So, and, that's, and that's okay for us to be, be posted out with plenty of time for people to know what it is, right? Okay. Um, all right. I think that's when it was originally, because I had it in my calendar. Yeah, I did too. Okay. I think, that's I think, I think we already talked, well, we probably talked about that. that I think was it originally when we went with the fourth Wednesday, but then we went with right. the last Wednesday. So right, right. as long as you're posting it in advance, you can. Yeah, yeah we're not even violating our own rules. So the fourth, the fourth. Okay. So I will take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.